Corey, tell me the story of Rocky Six. I heard you have an interesting summary of this. I mean, we- me, I've never seen it. Me and Chris discussed it. We were okay. saying if you were telling it to somebody who never saw it. I have not seen it. Okay, well, it's about a wrestler who has an MMA match against a robot android who blows, <laughs> smashes Adrian, his wife's head, in front of him. Oh, yeah. And each movie is about him bench pressing thousands of pounds and growing Hulk strength to fight the android in, in the, the Coliseum. <laughs> The Great Coliseum. Rocky Six is already a movie, though. He punches I'm, down. No, I'm on talking Adrian. about Rocky. We're he punches talking. all the Rockies. He punches up to down them. on Adrian's head, so and smushes it into Rocky a pancake. One. Yeah, the android laughs. He's like, "I kill girl to the to Rocky." <laughs> <laughs> and Rocky's like, and is this Rocky Four? No, this, this is Rocky. <laughs> this is I kill girl. <laughs> he, okay, so the robot smashes Adrian's head into a pancake. Rocky and he exclaims, thousands his, he of exclaims pounds. his enjoyment of killing. Her. How does he laugh? Does he laugh? He's like ha ha ha. <laughs> he sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like Rocky the android. This is Ivan Drago. You're talking about. Yes. I crush you. Yeah, that's him. Yes, that's what he did. Rocky's like. You turn her into a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I am a pancake girl. <laughs> Adrian! And so what ends up happening, this is explaining it to a blind person. What ends up happening is Rocky ends up winning the wrestler tournament. He gets his Wrestling. belt. He gets a new girl. <laughs> And then he gets a new girl right. from wrestling. He gets a new yes. girl, and then his son leaves on the legacy for Rocky Six. He's like, "I'll do it for you, Dad." Right, is this Rocky Five? Oh, this is Rocky one? one through Five, and then Rocky Six is okay. the new generation. There's already been six Rocky movies. Okay, Rocky Seven. <laughs> Okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm explaining to a blind person, not someone who actually fucking. Why are you lying? To, why are you being mean and lying to a blind person? <laughs> Like a blind person's like, can you explain what what is Corey? What is Spaz Kid Corey? I'm like, he's an alien. Why would a blind person care? He's an alien. I from heard Rocky's Andromeda a good movie. Galaxy. Can you explain it? What to would me? a blind person come up to you, Corey Spaz Kid, instead of listening to the fucking DVD Harry for he, hearing comment? Because he hired me for a quick synopsis of Rocky. <laughs> hey Corey, Corey, yeah, if I had, I had to hire, hire you for a fucking... synopsis, <laughs> if I had to hire you for a synopsis of ET, what what would be your synopsis? ET. Yeah. Give it to me. Okay, so a kid enters a science fair, and yeah. his science fair project ends up touching one of the aliens, like it like gets the alien's attention. The yeah. alien comes, yeah. it like gets horribly burned by the air, <laughs> so he has to hide in a closet. The little girl tries to feed it by tossing Skittles at it and other candy shit. It ends up burning the girl by spitting acid. Eventually, the like toxic people, the people who like do toxic and stuff, they detoxic him, take out the baby inside ET's stomach, give it to the boy, and the boy takes the ship. That's voiced by Pee Wee Herman. That's a navigator. <laughs> the fight of the navigator. Uh, that's ET. I want to live in your head You're for such one a day, Corey. Fucking psycho. One day. How did you think of the tummy acid shit? <laughs> what? Where did that come from? I thought it'd be funny. That was <laughs> Aliens. That was from Alien. Oh, the, the fucking spit. You mixed in all the Alien movies. That's the same. It's you e. mixed all the fucking you Alien e. movies with together. Aliens with the flight of the Navigator. <laughs> the fucking kid goes to the oh. Alien place. Corey, give, give me a synopsis of the Shawshank Redemption. The Shawshank yeah. Redemption? Yeah. yeah. There's a professional group of people who... <laughs> That, what? It, it's 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 like a it's like a group of people who have mastered the ability to shank. And <laughs> shank one of them, one, they're professional keep going, shankers. Keep going, keep going. They meet up occasionally from shanking. Professional from shankers. They have their stories. Okay. okay. Are they retired? They get caught because like one of them was an undercover shanker. <laughs> they, get, they get taken to a bunker. The other people, they're, they're, they have a police officer, the, and they're all shankers. There's shanker blue, shanker black, what shanker red. Fuck? It's like Reservoir Dogs, it's shankers. <laughs> no, they're like Power they're Rangers. So stupid. <laughs> okay, they're like, like Power, Rangers. Power Rangers. Right, right. Rangers. What am I thinking? They all have like shanks, like one's made of a toothbrush, one's made out of like a rock. What's yeah. his name? What's the, the, he played uh, Jesus and Bruce Almighty. Morgan Freeman. God, he played God. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Um, he is in Shawshank Redemption, yes. And he gets caught. They go to the jail. He gives him a shank? He gives him... No, he takes away a shank, puts it away, and he's like, you don't need a shank anymore. And then they let him go. 
Because he learned his lesson. Oh yeah, that did happen in Josh Shaker What about the old man and the bird in his coat that he feeds worms to? Yeah. Where'd he come into it? He shanked him to death. <laughs> 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 Give us the bird too. <laughs> Give us a synopsis of a million ways to die in the West. <laughs> a million ways. Okay, a million ways to die in the West. Seth MacFarlane hangs out with a teddy bear, voiced by Marky Mark. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? They both take turns riding in Optimus Prime, and they fucking they sport. get into a they, time machine. No, and let me finish. Go to nineteen eighty nine. They crash into Budweiser vehicles and have commercial breaks throughout the movie, and then they wind up in fucking Japan. And they find the Dinobots. <laughs> Corey. In China. Seth MacFarlane finds a Dinobot Seth and fights him for, for the... And rides it. so much jokes at that point. I want rides the, it into the sunset. I want the synopsis for Jurassic Park. 30,000 foot brontosaurus. Yeah, Jurassic <laughs> Park is told by Corey. Okay. So this old dude, he's got an egg. <laughs> he puts it in a, in a machine and Newman from Seinfeld breaks the egg and a dinosaur comes out <laughs> and it goes into the cloning bay and creates more dinosaurs. And the then, dinosaur, like, then the island catches on fire, they all die, and then they create the world after with the one dude from Guardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> who's a dinosaur whisperer. <laughs> so wait, the dinosaur went into the lab and cloned more dinosaurs? Yeah. He's smart. Well, it was like a big open door. <laughs> <laughs> Let the door open. This is easy, dude. This is like this is like cakewalk. You need any other movies? I got you. Robocop. <laughs> Robocop. Man, I can't. I can't do these. <laughs> you just said, give me any movie. Oh, fuck. Do the Simpsons movie. The Simpsons movie. Uh, Peter Griffin gets a pig that's a spider. and wins the fucking Charlotte Web. And <laughs> I don't know. All fucking right. babe in the big blue city. I don't right. fucking know, man. Right. Wow, we tapped you out hard. All right, next topic. Next topic. I'm done, Corey's man. Corey's tapped. in the big blue city. Tapped. <laughs> it's like ramblings of a madman, dude. Sorry. It's you, Corey. It's my brain. I don't brain. know. I do it's feel like right. certain movies, like, if you did do the synopsis, they wouldn't be that ridiculous. Like, yeah, fucking would. Mad Max. I feel like Fury Corey Road. Gross guys get their babes stolen. Cool. They drive cool into the desert intro. and then drive back. I feel like yeah. boring girl shit. I feel cool like Corey's intro. brain was like dipped in Fanta orange for like <laughs> ten minutes, <laughs> and it just like sizzled around his brain, and then they put it back in. I got stories for years.